Nicholas Danier was born on the 27th of May 1876 and was a British Royal Engineer and Chief Mechanical Engineer of the London Midland and Scottish Railway. Hello, I'm John and welcome to my YouTube channel John's Box and to part four of 20 uh, famous Swindonians that were alive, also less famous and rather today it's going to be about somebody who died almost 60 years ago um, rather I would say it's a less famous Swindonian unless you're into trains, railways and the GWR so uh, if you watch the last um, part about Rick Davis you'll know who was chosen for this part. So here you have it unveiled Sir William Arthur Stania FRS unless you're a railway buff or you know a lot about the GWR you probably haven't heard of him. There is a street named after him in Swindon though not as grand as he was. He um, started off at the GWR works in Swindon just as an office boy and worked his way up to become chief engineer. Uh, just like his father who started at the bottom. So that's what I mean when I say self-made engineer. Um, I don't want to say too much, the rest of the information will be in the photo film footage with my commentary and what we'll do after that is um, choose the next famous Swindonian uh, after you've seen the footage. So sit back and relax in your railway carriage and enjoy it. I hope it, uh, you can learn something uh, from it. Sir William Stanier was born in Swindon where his father worked for the Great Western Railway as William Dean's chief clerk and was educated at Swindon High School and also for a single year at Wycliffe College. In 1891 he followed his father into a career with the GWR initially as an office boy and then for five years as an apprentice in the workshops. Between 1897 and 1900 he worked in the drawing office as a draftsman before becoming inspector of materials in 1900. In 1904 George Jackson Churchwood appointed him as assistant to the divisional locomotive superintendent in London. In 1912 he returned to Swindon to become the assistant works manager and in 1920 was promoted to the post of works manager. In late 1931 he was headhunted by Sir Josiah Stamp, chairman of the London Midland and Scottish Railway, to become the chief mechanical engineer of that railway from the 1st of January 1932. He was charged with introducing modern and more powerful locomotive designs using his knowledge gained with the GDWR at Swindon. Stanier built many successful designs for the LMS, particularly the Black 5 Mixed Traffic 460 and the 8F280 freight locomotive. His Princess Coronation Class 462 No. 6220 Coronation set a new British record of 114 miles per hour beating the previous record set by the Gressley A4. During World War II, Stania worked as a consultant for the Ministry of Supply and retired in 1944. He was knighted on the 9th of February 1943 and elected a Fellow of the Royal Society on his retirement, only the third locomotive engineer after Edward Burry and Robert Stevenson to receive that honour. He was also President of the Institution of Mechanical Engineers for 1944 and was the Vice President of the Stevenson Locomotive Society for a number of years until his death. He died in Rickmansworth on the 27th of September 1965. In 1906, he had married Ella Elizabeth, daughter of Levi L. Morse. Ella Elizabeth died in 1959. 
They had a son and a daughter. William Stanier, with the backing of Sir Josiah Stamp, chairman of the company, reversed the small engine policy which the LMS had inherited from the Midland Railway with beneficial results. Locomotive designs introduced by Stanier include, among other, LMS Class 4 MT 264T, three-cylinder, LMS Class 5 MT Black 5 460 and LMS Class 8P Princess Royal 462. Stanier's designs were a strong influence on the later British Railway standard classes of steam locomotives designed by R.A. Riddles who adopted LMS design principles in preference to those of the other big four railway companies. There is a secondary school in Crewe called Sir William Stanier School and a street in Swindon called Stanier Street. Don't forget to do all the usual YouTube stuff. Add comments if you know a little bit more than what you've just seen. Please feel free to add that in the comments. What we're going to do now is choose the fifth famous or less famous Swindonian, following in the footsteps of Diana Dawes, uh, David Murray, John, Rick Davis, and uh, Sir William. So Sir William's going to choose this one. Uh, this will be mm, probably. I guess in a few months time um, but we'll see maybe it'll be sooner and Sir William has chosen um, R Ralph Bates who's uh, actually also dead uh, novelist born in 1899 writer and journalist so that will be in the next of uh, famous and less famous Swindonians, dead or alive. Just leaves me to say thank you for sticking to the end. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it again and hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now and thank you.